All right, today's project is to work on this um, wiper motor. Uh, I tried testing it, but it's not working. It's uh, part of a restoration, so um, it really needs to be disassembled anyway, but I wanted, I was hoping that it would work, but from the looks of the, of the motor, it looks like it hasn't run in years. So what I did was I, I washed it. It started out pretty dirty, so I, um, I first cleaned the outside of it and got most of the the crusted on grease and everything off. And now it's just a matter of taking a peek inside. Uh, these motors are relatively simple. They're Lucas motors, even though they're installed on a on a Ferrari. Um, there's a lot of uh, speculation about Ferrari using Lucas stuff. I think what happened was back in the day, Ferrari would just go to vendors and ask them to um, to supply stuff for them, and they would just basically, you know, take take whoever was a vendor. Okay, first issue I see is uh, the grease. So this stuff, when you look at it, it's pretty hard, um, and it really doesn't help the motor and the uh, you know the drag on the motor. This this uh, this piece here moves in and out. And it kind of, like a locomotive motor, it goes in and turns. There's a little pinion in here that turns from the motor itself. But when you look at the grease in here, it's it's pretty stiff. And uh, all this adds up to making everything kind of move a little bit slower. So uh, first off, you got to remove all this grease because uh, it's it's going to work against um, against the uh, the motor. So I'm going to stop this right now and and um, clean this all out first before we we move any f further forward on this gearbox because um, it just it needs to be done i mean we'll just replace it with modern grease it's a little less waxy and um, it'll help this motor move a little bit faster once we clean everything out so uh and you know i don't know if you want to watch any of this stuff so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh and clean it all out i'll be right back okay so i cleaned out the grease in there and uh, have packed new grease into it, but got most of the, uh, all the hard stuff out of there. Um, it looks, it, it moves now when I put the motor in. The other thing I've done is I pulled the, clean the commutator, which as you can see here, it's, it's uh, at least now nice fresh copper is showing. I cleaned that off a little bit. So now that should, that should conduct a little bit better. Um, I checked the brushes and they look pretty good. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I got to disassemble this, clean this out just so that I can get, uh, you know, some more of that old grease out. So, uh, more cleaning and, uh, this piece here, this, this steel piece is supposed to be ring, uh, not wrinkle, uh, hammer tone gray. So since I have it all apart, um, I'm going to take the innards out of this, uh, bead blast this and, um, and hammer tone it so that, uh, you know, it's all part of the restoration. So uh, that's the next step. Okay, this is um, all cleaned up. I'm gonna um, primer it and then uh, put some uh, hammer tone finish on it. So uh, that's the next step. All right, I put the wiper motor back together, grease it all up, and it's working again, ticking away. So that's all it is, it's just grease, and uh, clean up the contacts, and uh, you're back in business. Thanks for watching.